Welcome guys, today I'm going to be showing you the best competitive settings for Apex Legends. Not only in game with the videos and graphics settings, I'm also going to be showing you the best config settings. So to start it off, you're going to want to right click on your Apex Legends and click open file location. After you did that, did that, you're going to want to scroll up and open your CFG folder and you're going to want to create an auto exec file. Uh, make sure there's a CFG at the end and to do this, you're just going to want to right click on the config default underscore PC, copy it and then just paste it back in here. Uh, then you're going to want to rename it to auto exec. In my case, I'm just going to name it auto exec one because I already have one. But when you're doing it, make sure it's auto exec and make sure there's a CFG at the end. Then you're just going to want to right click it and open it with notepad or notepad plus plus whatever you have. So once you open it, you're going to have all of this text here and all you, all you have to do is just control A and then backspace, delete all of it. And now we're going to start putting in the commands and I'm going to be explaining them one by one. So the first command is HUD settings minimap rotate. What this command will do is it will rotate the map uh, wherever you look. So let's say you look right or left or do a 360, the map will rotate with you. The second command is R shadow zero. This command is self-explanatory, plus it helps with your FPS a lot. The third command is full screen. You know, when you start the game, sometimes it pops it in full screen in windowed mode. This will make sure it goes in full screen. Then we have this command called mat screen blur enable zero. What this command will do is remove all blur in game. So let's say when you're opening your inventory or when you're clicking escape, it'll remove that blur. The fourth command is going to be R particle time scale uh, two. So what this will do is this will remove some of the particles and also increase your FPS and is very good when you are in gunfights. This command I made in my first videos self-explanatory it increases your fps compressed textures one then we have ragdoll collide zero what this will do is practically remove the ragdolls self-explanatory and then we also have another command is the D, uh, dxgl max frame latency zero what this will do is it will remove all latency from your apex legends so that's definitely a very useful command make sure to uh, to use it then we have matte letterbox aspect goal 1.33. You guys might remember these commands there from my how to remove black bars in Apex Legends video. Just copy these two and put them in. Keep in mind that I will leave all these commands down in the description below so you can copy them freely. But you won't get banned for this. I'm sure it is because uh, pro players have used this in the Twitch rivals. So once you put it in here, just click control save and exit. So now you're going to want to go into your origin launcher, click on your game library and click on Apex Legends, then click the gear icon and go to game properties. After you click that, you're going to go to advanced launch options and put these command line arguments in this area. I'll leave this down in the description as well, you could copy and paste it. Keep in mind that FPS max 200, this game was purposely made to not exceed 200 FPS, plus it wouldn't do anything, so I definitely recommend placing this at uh, FPS underscore max 200. And plus, exec auto exec is going to launch your auto exec file that we created here. Make sure it's called auto exec or it will not run. So after you did that, you're going to click save. And now I'm going to show you how to make your apex even more smoother and kind of make it exclusive full screen mode. So now you're going to want to click Windows and R and type in Reg Edit. After you did that, click OK. Then click Yes again, a window will pop up. My screen will be black, but if you click Yes, this uh, window will pop up. Quick warning before I do this. this uh, if you're not familiar at all with the registry editor, be careful because if you delete any important folders here, it will really mess up your system. So yeah, definitely be careful. Anyways, that aside, you're going to want to go in your HK current user, click on system, click on game config store, click on children, and a lot of these folders will pop up. And what you're going to want to do here is delete a specific folder called R5 Apex. I've already deleted mine, um, but to find it, you're just going to click Control and F and type in R5 Apex, uh, not in caps, just R5 Apex and click find next it might take some time but once it does it will put you into that folder and you're just going to want to find it 
uh, and click right click and delete it don't worry this will just make your game even smoother make it exclusive uh, full screen and there's some more stuff but I'm not gonna go too in depth into it so after you did that let's launch Apex Legends so once you're in your game click your game menu icon and go into settings so now I'm going to explain to you all of my settings one by one and tell you the benefits of using them my interact prompt style is set from default to compact so what this does is it doesn't display this big box of information when hovering over a weapon and looting. My button hints are set to off and what this does is it removes the button hints on your Q ability and your ultimate. My crosshair damage feedback is set to X with shield icon. Just leave this at default because this is very good when you're pushing enemies as it displays what type of shield they have. My damage numbers are set to stacking. Some people do set it to floating and some set it to off. But I personally like stacking, it's your choice, but this is what I use. My ping opacity is set to faded. This setting is actually very important to set to faded, as the pings which you set, like your enemy gets downed, uh, your teammate gets downed, or you ping some kind of item. And if you have it at default, what happens is the image, the ping is 100% opacity, and it overwrites everything on your screen. But when you set it to faded, what it does is it makes the, the ping transparent and it makes you see item uh, stuff behind it. My uh, obituaries, I set this to off. My incoming damage feedback, I set this to 3D. Streamer mode, I set this to off as you don't need it. User sharing, I set this to disabled. So what this does is it lets EA collect data from when you play and it updates your software and your server. But you don't really need that. Personally, you can leave it on if you want to, but I set mine to disable. Colorblind mode, I set it to off. I have experimented with different colorblind modes, but I found that off is the best. But if you do actually have colorblindness, be sure to set the one you have. Subtitles, I set this to off as just the Syrax when you play the game. And subtitle size, don't worry about this if you set subtitles to off. Enable accessible chat features, I set this to off, and convert incoming voice to chat text and play incoming text chat as speech, I set this to off, is this very uh, frustrating when you're mid battle. Heading on to our video settings, I set my display mode to full screen, as this removes old jitter and old lag when playing on windowed and borderless window. Set my aspect ratio to 16 by 9 native. Feel free to experiment with 4x3 and 5x4 and even 16x10, but I personally made my native 16x9 and my native resolution. My brightness, I made it 60 as I feel this is very easy to spot enemies at close and long and medium ranges. My field of view is set to 100. A lot of people think that a higher field of view is beneficial because you could see more, but what I say it's not. The higher your FOV is, the smaller the enemies appear. So if you're standing 10 meters away or 5 feet or 10 feet away from your enemy or your teammate, if you have 100 FOV, that will be bigger than if you're playing on 110. So that's why I set it to 100. I feel like it's a sweet spot. 90 is too low and 110 is a bit too high. So I personally use 100 and I recommend you guys use it as well. Sprint view shake. A lot of people actually ignore this command, uh, this setting, and what it does is it removes the shake whenever you're sprinting. Uh, so if you set it to normal, if you sprint, there will be this big shake that happens. But if you set it to minimal, the shake will kind of minimalize. It won't be a hundred percent removed, but it will definitely be less. My V sync. I set it to disabled, as if you have it set to anything else, it will make the game a little bit laggy and maybe jittery and even add latency to it so be sure to set that to disabled and make your adaptive resolution fps target set to zero anti-aliasing i made mine to none if you want to have anti-aliasing on the problem is is if you want to have enemies at high resolution you're going to want to set your texture streaming budget and your texture filtering to high and that that makes your fps drop which is what we don't want so just leave these four commands on the lowest possible setting. Sun shadow coverage and sun shadow detail. I set these both to low just because it makes enemies easier to spot in, uh, in darker areas when they're under shadows. Same for this command, set it to disable. Volumetric lighting. What this command does is it makes enemies easier to spot at longer ranges without letting the sun shine onto your screen. Dynamic sun uh, spot shadows. I also set this to disable to see enemies in darker areas. Mode detail, uh, model detail, I set this to high, 
as we have our uh, texture streaming budget and our texture filtering set to the lowest possible. And I set this model detail to high to see enemies better at longer ranges, medium and close, and just make them more sharper. My effect details, I set this to low. Impact marks, set this to disabled. And ragdolls, I set this to low. So what effect details does is when you're activating an ultimate on some kind of character which has a lot of explosions or some kind of trail, this lowers the detail of that. Impact marks, what this does is it controls the impact marks that show up on your screen when you share your gun, when you shoot your gun. And ragdolls, what this does, the higher you have, is it replicates the animation of when you knock down an enemy, which you also don't want, just set this to low. After you did all of that, just click apply. Now let's go to the audio tab. I left my master volume at 100%, which is default. My voice chat record mode, I push to talk. Open mic record threshold, I set this to 1300. You can make it less or up it if you want to, but I personally left it at default. Incoming voice chat volume, I set this to 69%, as when I'm in battles and my teammates are giving information, I'm making sure that I hear footsteps of the enemies. My sound effects volume, I set this to 77%, as what this does is it lowers the volume of when somebody activates their ultimate, so let's say Bangalore's or Race ultimate. This number makes it so you can hear enemies, ultimates, uh, and abilities, and yours. Dialogue volume, I set this to 45, so it won't interrupt when you're mid-battle or when you're trying to hear out for footsteps. So definitely set it lower to 45 if you have it at 100. My music volume, I have this set at 0, as it removes the music at the start and at the end of the game when playing, so this doesn't interrupt you mid-battles. Lobby music volume, this is personal preference, you can set it to 1 or 100 if you want to hear the music, but I personally got bored of it after playing a lot of the game, and I set it to 0. My sound and background, I set to off, as what this does is when you tab out your game and maybe you're browsing something, this plays the sounds in Apex, and you don't want that, so set that to off. My play income text chat is speech, and convert incoming voice chat uh, to text chat, I set this to off. They're pretty self-explanatory, just you don't need them, set them to off. After you did that, just click apply, and you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment, and as always, take it easy, and peace out.